Next one. Is it 3.3? Is that the next one? Password protected bank account. Okay, so this is just like beating us over the head with the same idea. Um, modify the make account procedure so that it creates a password password protected accounts. That is, make account should take a symbol as an additional argument, as that example, and the resulting object should process a request only if it was accompanied by the password with which the account was created, and should otherwise return a complaint incorrect password. Okay. Oh, so this is exercise 3.2. I guess we're going to go back to writing code, and then we'll draw it later. Um, where's the account procedure? Is it just this basic one? OK. OK, so make account is going to take a balance and a password. Okay, so let's just get make account working with with the balance part. Um, well, so we have to remember that when make account when we make, when we do like define like a, you know ACC make account, there's going to be a frame that's created for the application of make account where balance gets bound to 100 and password gets bound to something. So we've got access to balance and password. So all right, so we can like write the code now. Um, I think all we have to do oh we have to do withdraw and deposit right. Okay. So first we'll check the password. Oh well this wait, this has to return a procedure that accepts things, right? Yeah, this is a procedure that takes an amount. Wait a second. Yeah, it looks like make account is producing a procedure that accepts two things. It accepts a password and a command. I'm confused. I feel like I want to go back and just get the code for make account, which they've given us. Here it is. Let's start off with this. That will help us a lot. Okay, so basically all we're doing here is adding a password. And then the dispatch procedure, which gets returned, is going to have to um, accept two things. It will have to accept, like, you know, we'll call it P for the password that's up provided. Okay, so I think what we're, we're going to do is we're going to test if the password's correct, and if it is, then we continue, and if it's not, we continue by doing that con statement. 
Um, and if it's not, then we return the incorrect password error. So let's see if this will work. Then we do this thing. Otherwise, we do that error thing. I mean, in order to understand this, we have to go through this whole make account story. See if this works. And then we'll like do that. Um, wait. Here we go. The password is going to be foo. Okay. So now we're going to apply account. So ACC is, we type ACC, what is it going to, actually, what is it going to tell us? What is ACC? Like, what's the name of the procedure that is ACC? Dispatch? Yes, exactly. Yep. So make account, define these these um, three procedures that are going to be in the frame associated with its application, and then it returned one of them. It returned the dispatch procedure. And so these three procedures can all see each other. They're all going to be um, created in the context of, of this frame that um, has bindings for withdraw, deposit, and dispatch. And so, it, it, indeed, it is the dispatch procedure. And you can see that, like, when we, um, I think this might not quite be correct yet, but when we try to withdraw something, it's going to return the withdraw procedure. When we try to deposit something, it's going to return the deposit procedure. Um, we're not quite there yet, but though, and I think it's not going to, this isn't going to totally work. Um, but okay, if we try to then run this code here, like we, we try to do the withdraw code, I should copy and paste. Oh, yeah, that's right. Password's foo. Hey, oh, it does work. Why does that work? Oh, oh, okay. This worked because, like, when we gave it the correct password, and we, we made it pass this test, then we're in this con statement, and it's like, is the message withdraw? Yes, it is. And then we return the withdraw procedure. So, like, then we get this withdraw procedure, which does the thing um, with the balance. So, like, if we just type, then we get the withdraw procedure. And that withdrawal procedure then can be used to do stuff. By the way, this is a, you know, talking about bank security, um, I've had some interesting credit card experiences and it relates to this. Like, we don't need to keep track of the password. If we're smart enough to, like, hold on to that withdrawal procedure, we don't need the password anymore. Like, withdrawal procedure that. We provide the password here. Right now we have a withdrawal procedure that we can just use. We don't need to provide the password anymore. Right? So it turns out this is what happens when you give your credit card company to any company, your, your credit card number. When you give your credit card number to a company that's going to make like um, monthly charges like Comcast or um, you know any web service or subscription, like you type your number in and your expiration date and the security code. And effectively what they do is they hand that over to MasterCard or Visa and then they get back a withdrawal procedure and they no longer use your number. 
And the reason I discovered this is I've, I had fraud on, like over the past year, three or four cards I've had fraud on. You know, I, I didn't lose any money. Only one time did charges actually go through. The other times, like, they detected it and blocked the charges. But each time, I, I was issued a new card to my account with a different number. And all my, like, monthly saved transactions keep working. It's really disturbing. So they don't actually, each month when they bill you, they don't send the numbers across the wire. They effectively did that once, and then they get a withdraw procedure, and they save that. And that thing keeps working even if your like, numbers change. Very scary. Um, okay, the end of that diatribe. Um, should we go? I guess we have to draw this thing, right? We have to go and draw this whole thing. I think that's part of the assignment. Any questions before we do that? All right. Do you guys want to do it? Does somebody want to like take a stab at it rather than just watching me do it? I guess you'd have to have a camera set up. How about like how about do you want to take a couple of minutes and and like go ahead and do it and then like I'll do it with I'll you know I'll do it rather than just watching me. Does that make sense? Or do you guys just want to watch me do it? Yeah, Jen, what do you think? Um, I think like I'm okay with taking a few minutes and trying it, but um, I feel like it's easier for me when I follow along. Why don't we do, um, like, I, th I think it would be worth it if you guys go and try to do this. Of um, Yeah, try to, try to draw what happens up to this point, like just the define make account. Before we use it, try to draw what happens just like when we type at the top level um, oops, this. How do we do? All right. So, need global environment. Um, we're going to evaluate this in the context of that. We're going to evaluate define ACC make account foo 100. All right, so at the end of the day, we know that there's going to be a thing called ACC that's going to bind to something. Um, okay, before we can run that, actually, we would have had to have, like, hit F5 over this whole thing. So this would have had to have happened. So make account needs to exist. So let's say what happens when that procedure is evaluated. Um, well, actually not so much happens, um, although we do get a procedure and its parameters are um, balance and password. Let's abbreviate a bit, balance and password. And it's going to have a body which starts with define and a bunch of stuff gets defined and it ends with Dispatch. Um, that procedure was created in the global environment and it got named make account. Okay, so that's all that happened um, when you hit F5 is the procedure got created. It didn't run, it wasn't applied yet, so nothing else got done. But now when we evaluate this, now the interesting stuff happens. So now, now make account gets applied. So in order for make account to get applied, a frame has to be created for its, its parameters to get bound. Um, its parameters are named balance. Oh, do I have those backwards? I guess what's, something's backwards. These two, these two things are backwards. Um, balance gets bound to 100, 
and password gets bound to foo. Um, this frame it, uh, was created for the application of this procedure. This procedure links up the global environment, so then this frame links up the global environment. In the context of this frame, the, this body gets evaluated. So now all the good stuff in the body gets done. So basically three procedures get created and one of them gets returned and, and um, a ACC gets bound to that third procedure, the one that we know is going to be called this batch. Um, okay, so let's go through. So a procedure named withdraw gets defined. And remember, like, when we see this define um, form where you're defining a procedure, it's equivalent to like define withdraw lambda of amount. So it, it does two things. It, it evaluates a lambda expression and the procedure gets created and then it gives it a name. So like thinking about it that way, the, where where does the so the lambda gets created? All right, fine. So let's do it that way. So it's a uh, procedure gets created. Um, it's a lambda of amount. So its parameter is amount. Its body is this like if greater than or equal thing. Um, greater than or equal, and it ends with like the insufficient funds possibility. Its um, environment pointer is the points back to the frame. So when, when lambdas are created, their their environment frame is their parent frame. So it was created it was created in the context of here. This body was evaluated in this context. So this points back to there. Um, and then it was given a name. So it's basically like define withdraw to be this lambda. So that name goes somewhere. And it's totally reasonable to think about it is that it's in the same frame here. It, it, that's the right way to think about it. So now we're going to have a procedure named withdraw, which is this procedure. So that's going to happen two more times. So we're going to get a procedure named deposit. I'm going to shorthand this and not do the whole story, which points to this thing. And then I'm out of room already. And then there's going to be one named dispatch. That one actually is worth like drawing more completely. My pen is drawing. Okay, so dispatch, its parameters are what? P and M, the password you need to get in in the message. And its body is the if statement. That first thing it does is test the password. And then the very end of the make account procedure is returning the dispatch procedure, which happens to be the last one created. So this dispatch procedure gets returned. And now we're all the way up back here to make account. Um, make account returns the dispatch procedure, and then at the top level we bind a, the ACC symbol to it. So this gets bound to that. Wait, this is the dispatch procedure. So all that happened from this. Hi, Craig. Could you just slide the paper to your left a little bit? I just can't see some of the... Uh... Oh, really? Yeah. Like that? Thank you. Yep. You should be able to move things on your screen. <laughs> no? All right, I'm happy. It's no problem. Um, I think I want to move on. I don't know. Like, we, I mean, the next step is to actually, like, do the rest of the stuff here where we... Um, down here where we like get access to withdraw procedure and then apply it, but I think that I want to move on rather than doing that. Is that all right with you guys?